Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here, just me and the critters, per normal. Oh, Lord, my glasses are so dirty. You don't even want to know how dirty they are. Uh, I've used my skirt. I have to tell you, I bought a couple skirts off of uh, um, uh, Amazon. Long skirts. I like long skirts. Even when I was thin, I always wore long skirts. That's just me. Um... And I bought a couple. They were inexpensive, and I love them. They are lightweight, almost like t-shirt material, except for they're, they do have rayon in them, so you have to not dry them in the dryer. They got a couple pockets. They're roomy. They're just lovely. I'm just It makes me feel happy because I've gotten to where, I know this is kind of odd, but as I've gotten older and stuff, I normally just, I wear a lot of skirts and dresses now that we live in Florida. Um, you know, the weather's always nice for them and stuff, so I do just wear a lot of mainly skirts and dresses, and um, it's nice. Didn't, in Wyoming, a whole lot because the wind and because of the really frigid temperatures. So anyway, uh, it is November 5th. 2019, I almost said 18, it is 1 p.m., no, Nixie, get out of there, Nixie, I don't let them in the art room because the cat litter box is in there, and they seem to think that it is a dispenser of treats, and it's like, no, <laughs> so, and I don't have the baby gate up against her right now, I'm actually moving that baby gate, if you have dogs that or even a cat, but if you have, I find if you have dogs that want to jump at the window and see these windows are very flimsy, and he's replaced different panels with the plexiglass, and a lot of times it will be it will come undone, so you'll have a gap in your window like that. Um, then you have to call and hope he wants to come by. But anyway, um, so. Charlie doesn't jump at the window, but Nixie does. So the baby gates, the real inexpensive ones, um, those work great to put in windows. And because there's a pressure rod on there, so you can customize it. Also, if you have, say you have a window that maybe your cat is really pushing against and wanting to use their claws on the screen, that will help some with that. Depends on if you have enough of a windowsill that you could kind of leave a gap so they can't really get their claws into that screen. So, you know, you make it you make it safe. Or if you have a window, and this is just something that, that I came, came up with. If you have a window that doesn't have a screen and you want to have it open, if you have some lace uh, that you can put, in that window and then the baby gate, you essentially have a screened window. So, you know, it's not a number one, but it will work. So, keeping some of the bugs out and keeping your critters in. So, now that I've dispelled all that pearls of wisdom, let's do the weather. You know, I'm just being silly about that, about pearls of wisdom. It's 79 degrees, it feels like 84 uh, the high today will be 80. The low will be 64. Mostly cloudy. 20% um, chance of rain. Humidity is at 74%. Wind is 2 miles per hour from the south. Sunrise was at 6.55 a.m. Sunset will be at 5.47 p.m. And tomorrow is basically the same. Yeah, basically. So, um, yeah. That's the weather. Right, kitty kitty? I'm not going to hold you right now because I'm going to be showing some hats, okay? I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Do you know this, kitty kitty? Oh, well, you're not happy? How about if I hold you right after, okay? Would that work? You know I love you, right? Right, my kitty kitty? Okay, well, can you try to try to do the counseling, okay? Because I want to show hats. Okay, last month, and this, it'll, it'll be mailed out this Saturday, was Oregon. So, 
th this next month, which will be the 32nd month, can you believe that, will be Colorado. Now, I decided for now to not double up on, on getting these out because I don't really have the finances to do double shipping per month. So, um, so I'm going to just keep doing single, you know. And um, so let's show what's going out to Oregon. It'll be 30 hats per normal. And so I'm not, I d don't remember who sent what. So, you know, classically, you'll, you'll know it's mine because it'll have a button on it. You know, or I'll tell you it's mine, but otherwise it's been donated by some of my lovely ladies. So we're going to start with that. This is number one. And number two. This is one I made. Number three. Another one I made. Number four. Oh, that's the back side of it. Number four. Five. I love this one, six. There's seven. Here's eight. Love this one, two, nine. These are some I made here, ten. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen, that was, was a donated one. Yeah, thirteen, this one I made, which was fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Twenty-four. Okay, and the rest of these are, are these are donated. This is a donated shawl. Very beautiful. So that's twenty-five. This is a donated cowl. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven donated, twenty-eight donated, and then last two are a couple I made. So there's that one, and there's this one. You should tell I'm really into the the self-striping colors right now. So. Anyway, those are all the hats that are going to be going to Oregon. Yeah, so that'll be good. You know, it'll be good. It makes me think of my, my friend Kathy. They have this uh, Stone City Farms uh, up in Washington, I believe. Yeah, and um, it is, they do goat yoga up there. Very cute, and they make um, uh, soap, and they're starting to make a few lotions. I don't know if they they released those yet or not, um, and uh, lip balm and that kind of stuff using goat milk. And um, I don't think the lip balm has goat milk in it, but I'm not sure. Um, but wonderful stuff, wonderful people. They're it's family owned. Family worked, family loved. Uh, so go show them some love. And then here in a second, I'm going to um, 
give you guys a link and tell you about my daughter and her friend's Etsy page. Now, my daughter um, and her friend are both single mothers, and they are, um, you know, they work a full-time job, plus them, um, and then they have the Etsy. Now, they sell antiques and collectibles. So, it's getting to be holiday time, and we all have people on our list that are very hard to buy for, and you're probably wondering what the heck to buy Maybe your father, maybe your husband, you know, or your mother or whatever. So go check them out. I'm going to put a link below. Um, I have to, I have to read their name real quick because um, it can be kind of hard to, uh, to pronounce. So um, it is Roan and Wolf, and that's R-O-A-N-A-N-D. W-O-L-F-E, and that's all one word, and that's their Etsy shop, and collectibles and oddities, so, um, you know, they, uh, I'm going to tell you, my daughter has some cool stuff listed, of course, you know, uh, what mom isn't going to tell you that, but she does, and so I'd love it if you guys would go over and take a look at their stuff, and they will be listing more you know, or if you're looking for something in particular, just leave a message and, and they will they will look and see if they they can locate such, you know, they're always uh, very happy to do that. Uh, so yeah, if you would give them give their site a look, maybe give it a favorite, their shop and stuff, that would be ever so I would be ever so grateful for that. Um, I'm going to be working on my Etsy shop um, starting here probably tomorrow. I'm not going to have time today uh, listing some more paintings and, and stuff because it is getting to be Christmas time and maybe you guys would like to buy a painting to give to a loved one. Um, go lay down, Charlie. Okay? Go lay down. I'll get you out in a minute. All right? Hey, that's so rude. Nope. Where's my foot bottle? Where's my foot bottle, Charlie? Shut up now. I don't know what your dad did with it. You're lucky. No. That's enough. I'll get you in a minute. You hear how he mouths me off? I know. We're going to all ignore him for a minute. Okay, because he's being naughty. I'm not going to... I'm not going to pay attention to him when he's being naughty. But... You're lucky I can't find your fruit bottle, Charlie. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, I just didn't feel real great yesterday, and, and I think I said that to you guys, and, um, Brad ended up just cooking, cooking dinner, because I just was so tired and stuff, and that normally happens, you guys see it happen before, is, is when we do a lot over the weekend, then Sunday I need to or Monday, I need to kind of recuperate. And um, also, the antibiotics mm. have started kicking in, so the arm is already looking much better. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but, yeah, that spider bit me here, and it came down here, came down here. That really got it, and then here. Um, and you know what's weird is I have gotten spider bites here on this spot repeatedly, not just living here. I got... Uh, bit by a, a brown recluse uh, when I lived in Wyoming and that was really bad and that's what started that whole thing and you know the, my my skin was uh, right there was always just pure white it lost all the pigment uh, but uh, yeah if I get bit by spiders I have such or any kind of insect I have such bad reactions so but the antibiotics are starting to kick in the lake's also doing better it's still doing some weeping and stuff, but, uh, you know, we do what we can do, um, and just take it day by day, uh, you know. Did you guys have a story about times when, when you were really struggling with your health? Please, if you'd like to share them, I'd love to read them. My, my friend Kathy was sharing her personal story, and I really, really enjoyed reading that, Kathy, and I'm going to reply, you know, here this afternoon. 
and that really did give a lot of insight. Plus, I, I love getting to know you guys better. I find, kind of find that often I feel like I'm at a disadvantage because you guys know a lot about my life because I share a lot about it, but then I don't really know that much about you guys, and I love to learn about you guys. I mean, I'm not going to pry, but whatever you want to share is awesome. Um, but, yeah, today I got it. I'm doing laundry. I've got a clean house. Um, and then later on this evening, I need to uh, cook dinner. I am going to do that chicken fried steak. I bought cube steak just because, you know, Mr. Heidi has got such bad dental problems right now that uh, it's first of the year we're going to start working on that, that... It's hard for him to chew stuff, and so I bought some cube steak that was on sale. And I'm going to pound it even more and make some nice, he loves chicken fried steak. And then, you know, just do the classic dinner. So, yeah. So, that's what we got going on there. And, um, yeah. It's a great day, and I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I'm going to have to get these puppies outside. And, uh. You know, now that he's being being good, he's he's hiding behind the dog biscuit box, and uh, oh, and finally the chewy order showed up. It was the weirdest thing. They shipped it and it ended up in Ocala, Florida. Then it went all the way up into Georgia, and then it finally came back down. Yeah, but I hooked I hooked it. I always say I hook stuff in. I, but I hooked in that box. We did talk to the Chewy people, and they put a note to have that delivered by the front step because they were leaving stuff out by the door. FedEx and the AM UPS driver. Not the afternoon one, though. He always leaves stuff on the porch, and he even knocks on the door. He wraps on it once, and I always tell him thank you. Um, you know, but, yeah, it, it was, it, it took care of it. Uh, they put a note on our record and stuff, and I brought it in and everything. They get excited. I always tell Charlie, say, look, we're going to keep you another month or two because we buy more food. <laughs> so I started doing something. Oh, real quick, I want to tell you guys something. I started doing something a little different. <laughs> Do you hear him? Doing something a little different with the dogs. I was feeding them the rice and the chicken mixed in with their dry food. Sometimes they would finish it, sometimes they wouldn't. But I hate throwing away the dry food, especially Nixie's, because, like I said, it's a prescription and it's very expensive. Yes, we buy it for her because, you know, that's our responsibility. So I started feeding them their rice and their chicken separate from their dry, and that's working out ever so much better because we're not throwing away the dry food. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. Anyway, I'm going to get off here because he needs to go outside. Remember that I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so very much. And I think you guys are awesome. And I will talk to you tomorrow and, you know, do something nice for yourself. And talk to you later. Bye.